Test Eight, Part One. Number One, A. A woman is celebrating a friend's birthday. B. A woman is sitting in a church. C. A bride is holding some flowers. D. A bride is going to have a dress fitted. Number two, A. The building's design is traditional. B. The architecture is modern. C. An architectural plan is being designed. D. A hotel is being constructed. Number three, A. A woman is planting a tree. B. A woman is picking some flowers. C. A woman is smelling the flowers. D. A woman is allergic to the flowers. Number four, A. A man is not being appropriate. B. A young man is being respectful. C. A man is taking off his shoes. D. A man is leaving a house. Part two. Why do you think Ken keeps talking about how busy he is? Blank. He doesn't actually want to hang out with us. I guess you're right. He's not a very sociable guy. Number six. Now I eat broccoli every day because I heard it's healthy. That's good, but you shouldn't just eat broccoli. Blank. Okay, I'll try to eat other vegetables too. Number seven. Today is very special. Blank. Why is it so important? It is the day we declared freedom from the British. Number eight. Is the color red supposed to be positive or negative in Taiwanese culture? Well, if it's an envelope or a New Year's decoration, it's good. But writing names in red ink is considered negative. I see. Blank. Number nine. I noticed that this elevator doesn't show the thirteenth floor of the hotel. Why not? In Western culture, blank. Oh, I remember now. It's considered to be unlucky. Number ten. My favorite flag is the U.S. national flag. That's a good one. Blank. I just know that blue symbolizes justice and never giving up. Part three. Number eleven. Why is it rude to leave the chopsticks pointing down in the bowl? Because it's pointing to the dead. A. Because I'm allergic. B. It's universal. C. Spot on. Number twelve. Why are you in such a good mood today? A. Because my boss gave me a bonus. B. You have some places you want to see. C. I received widespread criticism. Number thirteen. This culture is so different. How can I make them like me? A. You seldom need to. B. Spot on. I agree. C. Just smile. It's universal. Number fourteen. Why did you choose to come and live in a country with such a different culture? A. I didn't want to make an adjustment. B. I was attracted by the idea of a challenge. 
C. It's a really popular restaurant. Number 15. Let's get off the main road and go down a side street. A. Yes, they'll be accustomed to that. B. Good idea. Maybe we can beat the traffic. C. It's all about getting enough rest. Number 16. Will I be able to find any food that I like in America? A. Asian restaurants are widespread there. B. It's appropriate to use a knife and fork. C. Be clear, otherwise they may misunderstand. Part 4. Questions 17 to 19 refer to the following conversation. That meal was delicious. I'm glad I got a taste of the real American experience. Wait, Chun, we haven't left a tip yet. Oh, I forgot. Sorry, I know tipping is important here. I'll leave $2.50. Sounds good? Two fifty, But we just spent $50. That's only 5%. Is that not enough? I know you're still settling in, but anything below 15% is not respectful. We should leave at least 7 or $8. Bear in mind that service people have low salaries here, and they rely on tips for most of their income. I didn't know that. Thanks for telling me. And please let me know about any other taboos so that I can make the necessary adjustments. Number 17. Where most likely are the speakers? Number 18. How much money does the woman suggest tipping? Number 19. What does the woman mean when she says, I know you're still settling in? Questions 20 to 22 refer to the following conversation. Yuki, congratulations on getting the highest score on the written test. I had no idea your English was so good. Why don't you speak up more in class? I'm shy. Maybe it's because I'm Japanese. Back home, we're not accustomed to speaking up unless a teacher asks us directly. Interesting. In Germany, we usually put our hand up if we know the answer or have something to say. Won't you feel disappointed if your pronunciation is not good and you make everyone aware of it? Not really. You shouldn't be too afraid to fail. Otherwise, you won't be active enough when practicing English. Mistakes are an important part of the learning process. Yes, I see where you're coming from. I think I need to speak up more in future. Number 20. Who are the speakers? Number 21. What does the man say people in Germany usually do? Number 22. Why does the woman say, Yes, I see where you're coming from? Part 5. Questions 23 to 25 refer to the following excerpt from a speech. It's important to be aware of some American customs in order to make the adjustment to office life here. Firstly, time management. We are pretty strict regarding time. If you have agreed a time to meet, either in a work or social situation, then you should try to show up on time or even five minutes early. Secondly, regarding body language, it's considered respectful to make eye contact and hold it for the majority of a conversation. If you keep looking away, you'll insult the other person because they'll think you're not listening. Finally, communication. Americans are pretty direct. We say what we mean and most of the time we expect everyone to do the same, especially here in the workplace. I'm aware that in other countries this could be considered pushy or rude, but not here. Being clear cuts out the chance of a misunderstanding, and nobody wants that. Number 23. 
Who is being addressed? Number twenty four. What does the speaker suggest about meeting people in America? Number twenty five. What does the speaker say about communication in America?